Hey, I'm back. Uh, this is the time where we're going to assemble this 1200 millimeter Ranger airplane. Uh, before we get started with that though, there was a couple, a couple of things that I wanted to uh, point out to you that I really like about this airplane. Uh, first of all, if you notice with the main wheel here, the canter of this wheel here is, is, uh, is uh, forward just a little bit. So that, that makes it so that uh, it's already going to be pointing forward for you to give you that little bit of extra suspension. Also, I've noticed on here that the paint job is pretty decent with, along with the, the decals that are on here. The yellow and the black that you see here is paint throughout the whole entire airplane. When you see the white and the blue, and the blue checkerboard, uh, that's going to be your decals. They're pretty, pretty decent. Uh, I must say, of course, you know, for the price point, it's not bad, um, but it is a decent airplane. So anyway, uh, how about now if we get to the assembly of this airplane? And I'm going to use the box here as my stand, and what I'm going to do is place the airplane inside the box like this. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and get started with it. And according to the manual, as I follow the manual, uh, I must say, the manual is really, really simple. So simple that you're going to enjoy putting this airplane together. Come to think about it, years ago, when it came to airplanes, you had to do a lot to put these airplanes together. And the way that the airplanes are coming out today, they are really, really simple to get you out onto the, the flying field so you can get flying as soon as possible. And that's one of the good things about this industry as to, much, as to how much it's changing. Now I'm going to take the wheels here, and I'm going to put the wheels onto the, uh, onto the fuselage here on the bottom side of it. If you notice, there's a little notch on the on the uh, on the, the landing gear on the main landing gear here, and that notch fits right inside the area right here. And you just lay this down on top of there like that, and it's going to sit on top of there like that. And then you're going to take the, uh, the the brace here to put it onto there. And you stick it on there like this, and now. One of the good things about FMS, they always have your tools and everything with you, and they got uh, an Allen key that goes with this. And you're going to take uh, four, four uh, screws, two for the long ones and two of the short ones that are in the that are in the uh, the pack here, and put them on that um, for those spots there. You got some grub screws and stuff like that in here. Those grub screws are for your, your wings, your water struts, but we're not going to be using that at this particular time, so not, not to worry about that. And what we're going to do is just drop these into the position here. There we go. We two long ones, and we're going to put two short ones. Now, these are going into... Uh, brass fittings in here and that's really good because you're not going to worry you're not going to be tapping into plastic or foam you're going to be going right down into brass so that's really good so I'm going to use the supplied allen key that's that's with this and I'm just going to uh, screw these down in there I should probably use my wrenches because it'll, it'll be a lot faster but I just wanted to show you how well this is going to work for you and so you might as well just do it with, with what you got, right? So it's not going to take long, but just going to. And uh, as you notice here, I'm, I've put did mechanic work. So as mechanics would do things, they, they go from one side crisscrossing to the other. So that's the best way to make sure it's going to seat down properly. Now this landing gear, the main landing gear, it feels a little, a little bit on the flimsy side when you have it detached from the fuselage. But as you put this, uh, as you put this uh, piece in here, the landing gear actually stiffens up a little bit. So that's really nice. Especially, uh, hopefully, you won't have hard landings. But if you do. This, uh, this wire is, is nice and flexible, so it, it should absorb a little bit of the, of, the, of the landing. And there you have it. The landing gear is on there, and now it's nice and tight. 
Now the next part is going to be your elevator. And I'm going to move this over here like this. And what we're going to do is put the elevator elevator on here. If you notice there's a little notched area right here. Here again you have brass fittings for your, your for your screws to go into. And you're gonna seat right down. Look at that. Go right smack down up in there. That's perfect. And for the elevator we're gonna take two of the long screws You're going to drop right down in there. Like that. Get this Allen key. You look at that. Allen key fits right down up in there. It's biting. Started to bite, I'm just gonna move it around to the next one. Get the next one in, and once it gets in, then we'll. Uh, there we go, it's biting. So, now the one thing you want to do, especially after your very first uh, flight with this airplane, after you landed the very first time. Go back and check all of your your nuts and screws. Make sure that they're in tight because you don't want to keep flying it and the next thing you know your, your, your control surface comes off. So after your first flight, check it just to make sure that they're still on nice and tight. And then about every fourth or fifth flight, check it again. Always make sure you do your inspections on your airplanes before and after you fly your airplanes to make sure that they're flying right because you don't want these things to come loose on you when, when they're flying. Okay, so that's it for your landing gear and your, and your elevator. So now, let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. Thank you. And that's what it looks like Looks nice, very, very nice. We have your push rod and clevis for your elevator. And let's take a look at the manual here and see where it says that that should be placed at. Okay. Okay. Push rod. Here says that for the elevator should go on the very first one, and that's what we're going to put it on. Get that baby in there.
there. There we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to pull your clevis out a little bit. And this is just a temporary fix until we, we power everything up. I just wanted to line it up a little bit and, and put this on here. Let's give it one more. There. That's almost straight, close enough for now. And don't forget, we're going we're gonna to check this once we power everything up and make sure everything is straight. But now, your elevator is all set. We got the, we got the screws in here. We have your push rod and your clevises on here already. So that's good to go. Now, all we need to do is go to our main wing. And the main wing is right over here. Thank you, sir. I'm going to move the tape off of the uh, struts here. And tape off of this right here. And now this is going to be connecting up our uh, ailerons to our receiver here for the main wings and if you notice the the color of the wires you, they're color coordinated so you, you want your brown to go with your brown and your yellow to go with your yellow on your airplane is super simple and one of the interesting things about it is that you have these locking tabs on the side of it so make sure that when you put these on that it clicks you hear that clicking noise on it so that they lock in place because you don't want these to come loose. As you see right there, you just click. And that's how you make sure that your, your ailerons are connected here. Or, or any of your wires, in fact. You always want to make sure that they're, you have the color coordination on it. You make sure that uh, they, could, they click and that they're in the right uh, polarity. And I can't get this one here to go in here because it don't like me. It doesn't like me. <laughs> there we go alright so the, and here again you always want to check and make sure that you have your polarity correct and when it clicks in there it's in there nice and nice and snugly alright so now this is all set uh, one of the things we're probably going to do because the uh, receiver here is not uh, bolted down or anything and you got, uh, for your rudder, you have one servo with uh, two connectors on it and your receiver here. So this is going to go down on the top like this. I'm just going to set this up like that. And let's open up top here for just one second. We'll pull that up this way. Four. All right. And what I'm going to do now is just leave this in here for now. So I'm not ready to fly it just yet, but this is just to lay it in here to show you how easy all of this is going to connect together. And you're going to be amazed as to the struts that, that's hanging off of here on the main wing, how we're going to put this together. But you got the... Uh, there. Okay, thank you. Gonna set that right there for what right now. And we're going to get our our thumb screws here. You got two thumb screws that are included with this. Uh, you have a, a Y harness here that's going to go with um, with your, your floats. Let me check one little thing here. Nope, I don't see that there. 
Okay. All right, so you got some thumb screws here, and all you do is plug these in, and, and one turn. And if you notice the, the directional twist right there, it tells you which way to, to turn your thumb screws for your wings. And voila, that's it. Your, your wings are set, and there you go. Now this is an interesting part here for your, your wing struts. If you notice here on the side, you just, you just connect in here, and then you push them back like that, and they're connected. Same thing on this side here. You put them up, and your struts are in. And now that is the assembly of the 1200 millimeter FMS Ranger.